Today we're going to be making Thai beef jerky and I'm going to show you how to do it in the oven and we're also going to serve it with a spicy dipping sauce that's really similar to my crying tiger sauce. So first I'm going to do the marinade for the beef. So I'm just going to be adding two tablespoons of a neutral oil. So something like avocado or canola. And then I'm doing one tablespoon of soy sauce. If you want it a little bit saltier, go ahead and add two tablespoons. And then I'm doing two teaspoons of Thai fish sauce. So here I have some coconut sugar, or you can do some palm sugar or even just white sugar, but I have a tablespoon of sugar. And then I'm also adding about a quarter teaspoon of salt. So these measurements are for about a two pound chuck roast. If you're doing more or less, then you're just going to have to adjust as needed. I'm also cracking some fresh black pepper. So go ahead and give that a whisk and set it aside. And then we'll go over the meat that we're going to be using. I decided to go ahead and use chuck roast for my beef jerky. Um, the fat just kind of gives it a little bit extra flavor. I am going to trim off some of the excess fat. Um, you don't need to trim it all, but just some of the thicker pieces of fat, you can go ahead and do that. But we're cooking the beef jerky um, low and slow and all that fat is going to render and add a ton of flavor and tenderness to the meat. So first I'm just slicing it and then I'm trimming off some of the ends, but this is essentially the size and thickness that you want of the beef. Um, you want to try to make them as similar as possible so that way the beef cooks evenly. Um, and then once you're all done, go ahead and place it in the bowl with the marinade. And then I'm just gonna use my hands since they're already dirty from chopping the meat and just really going in there, massaging it and making sure each piece of meat is coated in that beautiful marinade. Ideally, you wanna do this overnight, um, at least for a couple hours to develop some flavor. So go ahead and put that in the fridge. Traditionally, Thai beef jerky is dried in the sun and then deep fried to get nice and crispy. We're gonna be doing this a little bit different. I'm gonna be baking it in the oven. So I just have a tray that I'm lining with foil for easy cleanup. And then I'm just putting this baking tray on top so that way the air can flow underneath the meat and on top. I'm using the convection option in my oven. If you have that, um, that'll be a better option. If not, you just might have to bake it for a little bit longer but I did 300 degrees for one hour, but after 30 minutes, we are going to go ahead and flip the meat over just so the other side can get baked as well. So go ahead and put that in the oven. And while that is baking, we're gonna make our dipping sauce. So this is tamarind concentrate. You can find this at most Asian grocery stores or online. Tamarind's gonna give it kind of a sour and sweet taste to it. And then I'm gonna add, so that's two teaspoons of tamarind, and then I'm gonna do two teaspoons of Thai fish sauce. So again, you wanna adjust the sauce to your liking. If you like it more sour, more salty, more sweet, um, you know, just go ahead and mix it as you need it. And then this is some palm sugar that I just dissolved in some water. You can also do coconut sugar. The tamarind is a little bit sour, but I do want some lime to just kind of add some brightness and acidity. So I'm just doing um, a piece of lime, just probably half a teaspoon of lime. The next ingredient are gonna be the herbs. So I have some Thai lime leaves, magoot leaves. Um, if you don't have them, you can omit them, but they do add a nice um, lime fragrance to the dipping sauce. I'm just going to roll them up and then chop them and mince them really finely um, so that way it's not too difficult to eat. The next ingredient is going to be a little bit of cilantro, um, probably just a few stems. I think I have four stems here. I'm just cutting off the ends and again you just want to mince it nice and fine and then go ahead and add that to the sauce as well. Now I'm gonna be slicing up a shallot. Um, I'm just gonna be using half of the shallot. If you like more shallot flavor, then by all means use the whole thing, but I just sliced it in half and cut it across and then finally chopping this as well. Now that we have all of our fresh herbs, we're going to move on to the toasted rice powder. So I made this toasted rice powder, but you can also buy this online or at an Asian store. It just kinda gives it um, an extra layer of flavor and then I'm doing the Thai crushed um, pepper. So this is half a teaspoon, but it was still pretty spicy. So just adjust to your preference. 
but um, depending on how spicy your peppers are, always start small and then you can add more as needed. So I went ahead and tasted the sauce. It was pretty spicy and to kind of cool it down, I'm going to add more of that dissolved palm sugar and then another spoon of fish sauce. Again, taste it to see if you maybe need more lime juice or anything else to balance the flavor. So go ahead and set the sauce aside. It's already been 30 minutes, so now I'm going to flip the pieces of meat and it already smells so good. The um, beef jerky looks great, so I'm gonna bake it for another 30 minutes. So again, like I said, I'm using the convection oven. If you're just regularly baking it, it might need a little bit longer, but ideally this is the texture and look that you want it. You want it you know, dehydrated, but still juicy and slightly crispy. Beef jerky goes perfect with some hot Thai sticky rice and that dipping sauce. You can also serve it with some fresh vegetables or even papaya salad is my favorite way to eat it. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. This beef jerky is so delicious. I really hope you give it a try. Don't forget the sticky rice and enjoy. I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day. Bye.